Sneaker Addicts, what up, it's your boy Dells, we got the Air Jordan 13, he got game 2018 retro last time this came out, pretty sure it was 2013, correct me if I'm wrong, or confirm that I'm right in the comments. Now, before we get into the detailed look, please subscribe if you're new, of course. Hit that little bell next to where it says subscribe. This way you get notified as soon as I upload a new video. You don't miss out on future content. We got my sneaker addict t-shirts. Pick them up. Fits true to size. Ships worldwide. Will be linked in the description box below. Appreciate your support, especially since YouTube just doesn't like playing ads on my videos no more. I don't know why, but they don't. Now, looking at the shoe, I gotta say, to me, one of the best colorways of this model that he got game you remember it from the movie back in the days and it's just a fire pair of kicks i actually still have the ogs and i have a review up if you want to watch that i'll put a pop-up eventually somewhere on the screen they retail for 190 dollars and let's get up close you see you got your tumbled black leather right there. It's a nice tumble. Materials ain't that great though, that's the thing. It's not terrible, it's just not that great. You got your kind of indentations, that's supposed to represent the Panther's whiskers in that white tumble. And then you have your holographic look, supposed to represent the Panther's eyes. You got more of that Durabuck in black with the pods below that. You've got your herringbone traction on the heel and the forefoot, and it's got like this kind of claw, kind of paw vibe to it, as you can see. You got your shank plate in the middle with your Jumpman popping in that little circle right there, nicey nice. Close up look at the back, and then we'll back it up, check it out. Quick look at the medial side. As far as the fits of these, true to size. I feel like I've been saying this a lot lately with most of the releases that's been coming out. I did the 10s the other day, the upcoming cement 10s, and that's just another pair of shoes just like these. Creasing is the worst on these. These things are ugly as hell, ugly as sin. When they are creased, to me, they gotta go. Unless, you know, this is your only pair of sneakers, or maybe you only have two pairs, I understand that. But for the heads that got mad sneakers, you got a sneaker room, like, to me, I just can't understand, I can't comprehend how you could wear these creased. It's a horrible look, ugly. If you disagree with me, if you feel like I'm going in on you, defend yourself. Leave it in the comment box. Tell me you're wrong. Tell me you're bugging. You want to curse at me? Go ahead. Whatever makes you happy. I just want to see that interaction. But to me, wearing these with a crease, you should get fined. You should actually get fined. The police should actually write a ticket. The sneaker police should write a ticket for your ass for wearing these if they got an ugly ass crease on the toe because they look horrible. But I'm going to help you out with sizing. Make sure that these fit true to size. True to size. You have too much room by the toe, them things are going to start folding and that's where you're going to get that ugly ass crease that is not a good look. It's a horrible look. Not a good look is a nice way of saying it. That just sucks. Do not wear these big if you get them where they fit big get something to avoid creasing they sell them at all the sneaker stores i think you just stuff by the toe don't go up half a size unless you have the freaking brick of a foot you know the fred flintstone then go up half a size you probably could even go down half a size if you have a narrow foot keep in mind this is me trying to help you guys out we're just having fun here don't get upset and um, I just love having conversations about sneakers. That's what I love. And if you never heard my podcast, by the way, we do an hour podcast where we talk like this for a complete hour every single week. And it's not on YouTube because YouTube is acting funny with me. They barely play my ads. Let me know if you watched an ad in the beginning of this video. I'd love to know. A little feedback would help because it seems like no one's got ads playing on my videos. You know, you go on Conan's page though, Conan O'Brien or any of them other big stars, their ads play. Mine doesn't anymore. So definitely check out the Patreon. It helps out the channel so much. Keeps me rocking. And thank you to all the Patreon members because you guys are a main reason why I'm still doing these videos almost daily because of that support so if you want to support head over to patreon.com backslash dj dells you get over 20 hours of podcast material probably more if you're watching this in a couple of weeks and it's uncut raw no holes barred uncensored a lot of fun 
and you really, really are going to get a lot of laughs. It's really a great time. The last podcast I did, I uploaded a couple of days ago, was so much fun. The feedback has been phenomenal. So if you love podcasts, if you're curious about it, definitely check it out. And the best thing for a lot of people Yes, there are giveaways, and it's a monthly giveaway. Sometimes I'll throw two giveaways in one month. So definitely head over there, patreon.com backslash DJ Dells, DJ D-E-L-Z. That will be linked in the description box below for your convenience. Also, if you love the channel, you love what I do, you a diehard supporter, definitely be a part of the extended family and join today. Birds off you on the toe. You got your tag with Jordan going across. Dora Buck with perforations on the tongue with your lace system. Check it out. And then you've got your heavy tumbled leather in black with your red jump. Man, I love that tumble. Looks great. White interior could get dirty really easily. That's one thing I don't like with your black insole with your red jump, man. And there you go, close-up HD look at the shoe. Now, I gotta say, there's something off about this shoe. I don't know what it is, but something is throwing me off with these sneakers right here. I just, I don't, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know if it's the materials, the cut, the way they made this model this year. I've owned this shoe multiple times throughout the years. I had the OGs, I had the 2013s. If they released in between that time, I think I probably own those too. I think they did with the countdown pack, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure they did though, the countdown pack. It was these and the breads. If I'm bugging, I'm bugging. I'm not always right. Let me know that in the comment box below, but I'm pretty sure they did with that countdown pack. That was awesome, those uh, packs back in the days. And uh, the price was nice too, compared to now. I think those countdown packs cost like $300 and now, you see what we're dealing with, $190 for this pair of shoes right here. It's really got people just falling back from Jordan brand. I feel like $190 is way too high. And at the speed they're releasing these things, I mean, they pushing these bad boys out every week. New sneak every week, bong, 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 every week, bong, bong, bong. We got this one, we got that one. Plus you got other brands delivering some nice heat for our feet. So, you know, I don't see Jordan Brand ever lowering the price because that would just be a dumb, whack look for the brand. So I don't expect that to happen, but I would not be shocked if these sit. That is my prediction. I know some people are going to say, Delzy, you're crazy. What's going on with you? But I'm telling you right now, I think these may sit. I was talking to a lot of people while I was out and about this week, man. And I'll tell you, a lot of them are saying they're passing on this. And I'm like, really? You don't know the history. They don't give a damn about the history. These young kids don't give a damn about that history, man. They focused on Steph Curry, LeBron James going to LA, all that. They could give a damn about Michael Jordan, man. A lot of the younger generation does not care about back in the days. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Even ask them about hip hop, like old hip hop. Ask them if they heard Wu Tang, 36 Chambers. They're going to be like, what? I think I heard of them. I was talking to some people over at this sneaker shop. They're about 20 years old. They didn't even know who Red Man and Method Man was because they were talking about slumps and all that stuff. I was like, oh, man, you got to watch out. Red Man and Method Man. They got the movie How High. They never seen that. I was like, what? I was like, have you seen Half Baked? They're like, yeah, we've seen that. I was like, how did you not see that with Red and Meth? They didn't even know who the hell Red and Meth was. Like, to me, that's crazy. But hey. There's young people that watch this channel, and you know what? If you don't know, that's okay. Now you do know, and I definitely recommend you checking out Red Man and Method Man. Check out that movie, How High. Check out their music, because you know what? It's not your fault if no one puts you onto the stuff. So I'm never tripping when I see young people, and they don't know certain stuff that I think is dope. They probably weren't putting onto it. So, you know, for all you older heads out there, put the young heads onto what you like. Don't just judge them because they don't know about something. They probably would never put onto it. So, hey. Put them on to it. That's how I do. And I definitely recommend you do too. And once again, this is the type of stuff we talk about on the podcast. It's all over the place, but it's a lot of fun. Check it out. Patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. If you enjoyed this, bang that thumbs up button. Show that love and support. And leave them comments. I love reading the comments. Let me know how you feel about these. You're picking them up when they released August 4th for $190. Or it's a no-look pass. I'd love to know. So hit me with that and let me know. 
Check out the description box below. T-shirts, podcasts, other videos, my social media. Show that love and support. Reviewed the Jordan 10s I released in this week. And I reviewed the woman's exclusive Air Jordan 13 Croc, which fellas could wear too. And I think that it's a suitable colorway where it is unisex, where men and women can get down with this colorway right here. And that's it for today's video. I'm rambling, rambling, rambling. Uh, shout out to anyone that's here. If you're still here, write in the comment box, I love pizza. That'll just let me know that you're still here with me, and I love you for that. Much love. We out. We out.